Hey, what's up, guys? Carafe Farms here. Welcome back to Waverly, Kentucky. As you can see, we are on April 1st. I finished up our rolling of our oats fields, and I pulled the sprayer out, and I got it filled up with herbicide. So what we are going to do first today is we are going to go spray our oat fields. Um, cause they do have a little bit of weed action going on in them, so... I'm going to go ahead and wait for this guy to, well, these guys, I should say, to uh, pass us. And then we'll uh, kick off some spraying. little bit of weed action in that field so we will get that uh, wiped out and taken care of and then uh, we can start seeding some soybeans GPS brought up here. We'll just bring this down to eighty eight and a half. And I'm going to go back and redo these two as well so that we uh, can get our sizes in there. And off we go. Not going to worry too much about all that. Oats are definitely one of my least favorite things to spray, just because it's hard to tell what's uh, weeds and what's crop unless you get a big patch like that where you can really see it. But if you get spotty patches then it's really difficult to see. One thing I do want to uh, kind of change and uh, get into doing, after playing Farm Sim on the PlayStation for a while now, um, kind of getting used to using a controller, and I do have a Xbox controller uh, that I had bought for playing like Farm Sim and stuff, but. I just didn't really take the time to fully set it up in a way that I wanted. Um, 
So I would kind of like to get that fully set up at some point. Um, and start using that a little bit. Especially for like loader work is kind of the main thing that I would like to uh, especially use it for. Um, Cause that'll make it a lot easier rather than using mouse controls. So eventually I'll get that set up, but in due time, I'm more focused on cranking out some videos, so. Crews set up a little better. So this definitely shouldn't take us too long. We've already got, uh, just one pass left, so. Pass knocked out. Definitely a few spots of weeds. But not uh, too terrible. Okay, we'll get folded up. We're gonna flip that. And then move on over to our other field. Well, I do have access to the land. Thank you very much. A few weeds getting knocked out. Again, I do have access to the land. Thank you very much. I own both of these fields, so I would kind of assume that I have access to it. Must just be the uh, kind of waterway there. Must be its own separate thing. We're going to 
overlap quite a bit, but that's all right. Right alongside of the fence post. Guess that worked out pretty good there. In that aspect. Wouldn't really necessarily need to do a headland pass here, but we're gonna do it anyways. here. There we go. Spraying is one of my kind of more favorite things to do just because of uh, how fast you can get it knocked out. But haying and harvest are my ultimate favorites. Those are kind of the things I personally enjoy doing the most. Even in real life, harvest time is always my favorite. So we usually have a lot of guys that come in and help us with harvest and it's always a blast eventually as we expand combining uh, these three fields here together making a bigger field would definitely be something that uh, probably going to do that'll be down the road That's definitely just kind of a little piddly field there. And I think we'll, we'll turn around and do just a little bit because I think, yeah, we have just a little area here to do. Just to be sure. Perfect. Let's get folded up, get this back, and fire up that uh, drill. I think we do probably need to. Uh, Top off the drill, Let's see what it's at once we get in it. Almost looks like it's just straight water in our uh, feedlot pen there. Pull this up 
by our tank here and hook it. And get this guy hooked back up to our roller. So we're gonna need that. Fire this beast up. Yeah, I think we'll top off seed and fertilizer on it. Let's jump in here. And we can mark the spraying as done. Actually, I think we can get a good start. Let's go ahead and get started. We'll bring the trucks over. We got that nice big gravel area that we can pull up onto for uh, filling until I get that uh, wheel script out. The trucks should not be burying. We'll just take it, the entire thing up, but I see we got some we got a car coming. But not because I was just seeing things. Oh, I was seeing the reflection of that gate over there. Thought it was a car coming. This switched over to soybeans. I'll just go in this gate down over here. So we, uh, we're in. a little bit here to get flipped around. some soybeans put in. And we can actually just pick up and turn around. We don't even have to do any headlands. At least not for a little ways. should be to be uh, realistic I guess but
just for a little bit of a time saver so we can get through spring. Get us closer to uh, making some hay and combining. So here's the uh, three bins that I was talking about in a previous episode. I don't know if they're functioning or not. Um, I'll go over here and take a look. Oh, it does, okay. 980,000 is what they hold. Wow. Well, if we end up not having enough storage at uh, our bins, then I guess we can uh, use these, but I think uh, we're going to just stick to our bins that we have. Actually, let's see here. If we can just sell these. Because we don't really need them. Oh, we can sell. Why did it not get rid of it? Hmm. So it says it's been sold, but it's still here. Just do it this way then. There we go. And we didn't gain anything from it, so that's okay too. There. So yeah, eventually that'll be a nice kind of area for some more bins, stuff like that. I guess now that I know that's there, we could have put, uh, I mean, when I built the yard, I didn't realize that was even there. Um, and if I had, we could have put our bale storage there. But, uh, that's okay. Or in, Originally, I was going to do a silage bunker instead of that harvest store silo. Um, but I didn't, I couldn't really find a good place to put it. I could have put that over here. But that's okay. We will uh, get it. We will make use of this area eventually, that is for sure. Like I said, uh, grain complex would go perfect right here. Nice big old uh, leg and some bins so we'll definitely make use of it no doubt about that or if we ever need uh, to add another shed in addition to the ones that we have but we'll most likely just sell some of the ones that we have and uh, expand that way even if we end up having to take out this field here and uh, use that to add in some buildings, then uh, we sure will because by that time we should have a decent amount more um, land. So, come on, auto save. But as much of a lifesaver as autosave is, it is kind of rather annoying at times, too. There's no doubt about that. And we'll just have a little strip left right there. So 
Soybeans actually don't really require any fertilizer, apparently. As you can see up here, the uh, targeted spot is way down at the uh, bottom there, so. I guess that is okay. Not using up much fertilizer then. So I think, um, just kind of thinking ahead here for our Montague, uh, what we could do is we could pull a conveyor over and uh, use that in our grain truck to load the Montague with fertilizer. good way to do it. That's actually how we load our Montag. Um, we just back it up under the conveyor and our conveyor is usually sitting under a hopper bottom and uh, the hopper bottom's got our starter fertilizer in it. And we just do it that way. enough seed to at least get pretty close to done with this field if not finish it. I am hoping that would definitely be nice. more passes and we'll have this field done. Another thing that we could do in the future too if we really wanted is um, if we combined these three fields, we could also uh, wipe out this area here and turn this into crop, or into field, I should say, I guess. But I'm thinking eventually we can uh, also do this as a hay field and then stick to putting bins or something there. Eventually we will put in more alfalfa rather than just our one field. So because we're so close, I think we'll just finish this field off. We we'll just stop the 30 minute timer. This is about to go off, but we're close to done, so let's just finish her off. I'll probably seed this other field um, 
off camera so that way and I'll get this parked and washed up uh, we're not gonna have enough seed to finish really come on we're so close okay well I guess we'll refill and then we should have enough seed to knock out this last field I would hope find our truck here. Should be this one. Bingo. Not sure how many growth stages we have to go through before the alfalfa shows. It is in. It does have six growth stages to go through, and we are only on number one. So I'm not even quite sure if we'll get any aid this first year or not. Um, I would hope so. Otherwise, we'll be waiting another year to uh, buy any cows. Which, if that's what it ends up being, then so be it. We'll uh, make her work. I don't really want to go in and with the... Uh, developer controls here and set it to fully grown, but if we end up having to, then we always can, just so that way we can actually get some hay made. here. Let's clean up these couple spots. Now we can get this field finished. We are up at just about 74 acres already, which in real life would be nothing, but farm sim, that's a fair amount. Alrighty, folks, like I said, I'll get that other uh, bean field planted and uh, get this washed up, unhooked, and we'll get hooked on to the corn planter, and then uh, we'll start putting in some corn. So, thanks everybody for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, and we'll catch you all in the next one.